Hey everybody, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi teacher, good evening. Good evening everybody, nice to see you today. Give me one second, let me eliminate the filter that I got here. Hello, hello, how are you doing guys? How's everything doing? Everything good? Everything nice? How was your Wednesday? Como estuvo su ombligo de la semana? Everything okay? Very good. Very good? Okay, Very good. cool. Yeah. So, espero que hayan tenido un excelente miércoles, you know. <coughs> Dos días más, nuestra semana se va, nuestra tercera semana is almost done, you know, it's almost over. Así que, thanks a lot, everybody for uh, always being here, you know, and uh, well, we are going to, vamos a intentar avanzar as much as we can uh, with some activities that we got for the day. So yeah, I got 13, that's a very good number. Allow me just a second. Let me just see. I think I got, yeah, I got, Normally the same number. Jerickson, nice to see you today. Hey, girl. Hey, hi, teacher. Hello, Miss. Gracias por conectarse. Thanks a lot for acompañarnos and being okay, with us. Gracias. <laughs> and uh, Idal, Natalie, I always say Idalia. So, Natalie, ¿cómo le fue con el gatito? How was your Good evening, evening teacher. Hey, honey. Good evening. There. Kit, 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 Okay, everybody, so it's a pleasure to see you. So let me join con las camaritas, like some minutes, please. Let me, hello, tell me, let me take a look at, uh, you know, para, para propósitos de calidad y de constancia, help me with your cameras just a little bit. And let me go over attendance. Ana Delmi, ya la escuché por ahí, thanks a lot. <laughs> so, cool. Brenda, creo que todavía no, ¿verdad? She's not here. Brian, el Brian, todavía no. Dani, por ahí escuché a Dani some seconds ago. Danis. Oh, well, Danis, I got you. But creo oh. que Anthony oh. también lo escuché. I'm not yeah, sure. it's Anthony. Hi, teacher. Yes, there you are. Good Hello. evening. Good evening, Dani. And Danis. Uh, Daisy, Lauren. Uh, hello, Daisy. How you doing? So maybe she is brushing her teeth right now, and but I see her. Uh, Giovanni? Hey, Giovanni. Hey, teacher. Present. Hello, good evening. Gracias por conectarse, super cool. It's on Natalie there as well, so... Uh, Ingrid, no sé si ven a Ingrid por ahí. Yo creo que todavía va camino a su casa. I think she's... Yeah, okay. I read yeah, you. Yeah. This is Ingrid. Thanks a lot. And uh, Jacqueline Melissa, por ahí ve Jacqueline también. I think I saw Jacqueline. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Bye. Thanks a lot, uh -huh. Jesus. Gotcha. No uh -huh. worries. Gracias por activar la camarita un momento. Uh, Jocelyn. I am here. Just telling I saw her. Thanks a lot. Norberto. Hey, Norbert. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Uh, Marvin, I don't see Marvin yet. Claribel. Let me see. Creo que Claribel está entrando ahorita. So I think we got Claribel. Mm, vamos a ver. La acabo de ver, pero creería que no está todavía su micrófono listo. Eh, Moses. Moses, Moses. Por ahí están Moses también. Yeah, 
Hello, Moses. Thanks a lot. René, Hello. creo que acabo de ver a René también. Ingresó René. Yes, mute. Yes, yes. Thanks a lot. Hey, René. Gracias por conectarse. Sandra Rodas. Hey, Miss Rodas. Thanks a lot. Hello. Good evening. Gracias por conectarse, Miss. Thanks a lot. Elizabeth. Let me see. Elizabeth. It's not no. here yet. Wow, well, it's a tempranito. Okay, maybe something happened to her. And Yarixa. So, let me see. Uh, Daisy, solo para confirmar. Daisy. I'm here. La confirmación. Thanks a lot. Uh, Claribel, ya estamos por acá. Can you give me some confirmation, please? Hello, Miss. Hello, yes. hello. Ahí está. Very nice. Mister. I am person. Yeah, thank you so much. Let me just take a look. Sí, yo creo que se debe haber levantado, mm -hmm. you know. Most likely, ella se ha levantado por un par de Aquí minutos. estoy. Oh, Ahí thanks está. a lot, sí. Miss. Gracias por la confirmación. Estoy escuchando. All right, thank you so much. Uh, so, everybody, we are going to Elizabeth. Ya está por acá también. Thank you very much. So, creo que no solo nos falta una persona. We are missing only, well, two. One, two people. I think we're missing. So, gracias a todos por la nice attendance of the day, okay? Gracias también por ayudarme con sus actividades diarias, you know, completing them. El día de ahora les voy a postear una actividad en el foro para que me puedan ayudar desarrollándola un poquito más, okay? So, es de las, de las actividades que vamos a hacer como bien consolidadas para que uh, tengamos el mayor provecho. So guys, normally en la plataforma hay algo que se llama eh, el, un área de comentarios, right? Ya les voy a mostrar al finalizar la clase donde lo pueden encontrar para que ustedes vayan, you know, and uh, lo puedan realizar. So no es tanto gramática, no es tanto eh, writing, sino es un poquito más de interaction, listening, etc. So ya les voy a indicar cómo hacerlo. So everybody, uh, to get started, let's go to present my pantalla. Let me present my screen to you over here. So we got class number uh, 13. Okay, so this is station 13. Nos faltan solo siete para terminar this module. Now, uh, this is what we will be doing. Our agenda says present continuous. Vamos a practicar preguntas. Then uh, wrap up y luego les voy a explicar la parte de homework, donde encontrar esa discusión, all right? Um, my first activity of the day, vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulario, okay? We are going to check maybe new vocabulary, maybe not new vocabulary, but still, it's vocabulary. So, algunas veces hemos visto estas palabras, okay? But we don't identify, okay? Or we don't know a dónde. So let's take a look at the words that you have in light blue. So we have lift, payroll, improve, advances, and colleagues. ¿Cuál de estas palabras no reconocen? Which of them is a new word for you? Ninguna. Like a new, new word. New word for me, teacher. Payroll. Okay, so what are the Lift words that you recognize left. or the ones that you don't recognize? And Dan, Anthony, please, what is the meaning of payroll? Because usted está familiarizado, I believe. Planilla, planilla. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, exactly. Uh, what about colleagues? What is a colleague? Colega de trabajo, compañero de trabajo. Exactly, very good, yes. And advances, what is advance, advances? Any no, idea? No. no any consejo. Idea. Consejos. Avanzado. Avanzado. No. Mm, okay. Se parece de hecho en español. It's very similar in Spanish to a word. Avances. Avances, avanzado. Yeah, that could be, that could be. 
So advances, mm -hmm. exacto, son como los avances en algo, las mejoras, ok? Yeah. So the advances. Now, improve. Esa es una de las palabras en inglés que me gusta más. I really like this word a lot. So this is improve. Any idea? What is Mejorar. improve? Mejorar algo. Mejorar. Very good. So improve son mejoras. Cualquier mejora que usted tenga. So you can improve any area of your life. Okay. So son mejoras o mejorar algo, mejorar una actividad, an ability, etc. En la primera, probably esa sí es totalmente nueva. I don't know. Maybe yeah, maybe not. So that is lift. Any idea what is the meaning of lift? Lift has two meanings. The first one is como un elevator, pero en inglés británico, right? And the second is this. So, um, tengo el teléfono sobre la mesa, okay? And I need to lift it. So, lift it. Or, estoy barriendo, I am sweeping, I am mopping, y le digo a alguien, por favor, levanta los pies, okay? So, lift your feet. Move your feet. So, lift es como levantar algo, okay? De una posición. Como alzar, what we call in Spanish, okay? So, like, lift the objects, lift a box. table, lift sí. a box, exactly. De hecho, las, las cajas, las cajas dicen, sí. don't lift algo, uh -huh, or be careful when you lift the objects. Entonces, lift sí. es como alzar o levantar. Mm -hmm. So, now, being said that, please help me with exercise number one. We are going to match the words uh, in light blue with the yellow color, okay? So vamos a organizarlas. We are going to match them, put them together. Here in the sentences, hace falta una palabra. We are missing one word for each space. So que hace falta? What is missing? I need to lift payroll. I need to improve. I need to advance or I need to colleagues my English. So choose a word to, to complete the sentences, okay? So I let's need to dar... Oh, I need to improve. Necesito mejorar. I need to improve. There we go. So eh, les voy a dar tres minutitos. I'll give you three minutes para que podamos hacer el matching, okay? Do the matching. Si se sienten cómodos escribiéndolas, it's okay, you're good. Y si no, podemos solo hacerlo verbalmente, right? Eh, deme un segundito. Cos, um, ok, hold on. Oh. Ya les di la respuesta. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> ok, wait. Que se me very good, teacher. Very good. Very good. No, very good. not good. <laughs> <laughs> Pero creo que nadie la vio. Así que I'm gonna. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna trust. <laughs> Voy a confiar que nadie vio la respuesta. That you are. Trustworthy ah. students. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is the one. Um, so you got three minutes. Okay. You got three minutes. Let me know if you have any question. Si tienen todavía dudas con el vocabulario para que lo podamos revisar. It's totally fine. Okay. algo mala porque no agarra una no, no. Hasta adentro no alcanza. Cuando salga, 
Que va a salir ahí. Es que te lo combinas así con la ropa. Uh -huh. Qué chido. Lo que más me gusta es que trae. Sí, por eso la quería yo. Algo colgante, porque sí. One more minute. Okay, everybody, so help me please with the answers that we have right there. So uh, number one, let's take a look at number one. Let me a second, give a second. Okay, so the first one is lift, okay? Do you have the answer for lift? Where can we use the word lift? Be careful. Be careful when you when you lift that box yeah. is, it is too heavy. 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 Okay, so be careful when you lift that box, it is too heavy. All right, that's a very good possibility. Uh anybody else? Tienen algo diferente? We will check that later. Ya lo vamos a revisar. Okay, we will check that um later. Let me see si lo puedo pulear. No, todavía no. Okay. Payroll. What about payroll? Where can we use payroll? My boss check the payroll. And the month. Okay, my boss checks the payroll at the end of the month. All right. That's a very good possibility. Anything else? If you have algo different, let us know. Y lo podemos revisar, you know. Okay, improve. You said improve for number one. I need to improve my English. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, so I need to improve my English. All right. Next one, advances. Where can I use advances? Hello. There are new advances. There are new advances. In technology. Oh, very good. There are new advances in technology. Okay, so advances, right? And the last one, colleagues. What about colleagues? My? My, my colleagues are the best. Uh, yes. They are yeah. nice and helpful. All right, so let's uh, take bees. a look if we got the same answer. So left, yeah, be careful when you left. Payroll, yeah, my boss checks the payroll. Improve, I need to improve. Advances, there are new advances, very nice. And the last is colleagues, yes, excellent job, everybody. That's very good. 
Exactly, there are new advances in technology. Everybody, please repeat after me. Vamos a repetir these words. Lift. 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 So lift. lift. Okay. Payroll. Payroll. Improve. 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 Advances. 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 College. College. Exactly. That's the word, college. Very good. So we are going to use them. We are going to use some of these words later on in las conversaciones que vamos a tener. All right. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the following thing that we are going to be doing. So, tenemos esta pequeña conversación donde vemos parte del vocabulario that we checked, okay? And it says here, listen to your teacher, read a conversation, and then practice with a partner. But en vez de mí leyéndola, quiero escucharlos también. I would like to listen to you. So, comienzo con Rose, and Rose says, hello, Mary, what are some activities you are doing this week, okay? And uh, Brenda, please continue. Ayúdenme con Mary. Uh, this part, this Mary, is... la primera interacción, the first interaction, please. Que tenía el micrófono apagado. <laughs> it's okay. I eso pasa. <laughs> okay, again. Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things in I do in this week. For example, I am singing some payroll on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? Thank you very much. And the next person to answer is Danny. So Danny, please help me read Rose. Danny's, Danny's demon. Anthony, okay, Anthony, wait. Yeah, so mm. maybe that we got two. Anthony, you're mm. fine. Uh, hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payroll on Thursday and sending a mail on Wednesday. And you? Oh, ah, sorry. No, 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 yes. Yes. Era el siguiente, pero súper bien porque ya practicó pronunciación. Así que ayúdeme con la siguiente. It's okay. That's okay. I am talking to college and checking reports. All right. Thank you very much. And the last person is uh, Jocelyn, please. Help me read Mary. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Thank you very much. Oh, okay. So this in this like conversation, they are talking about some activities that they are doing this week. So tell me, please, ¿qué van a hacer esta semana? What are they doing this week? What are some activities they are doing? I am learning Excel class. Oh, okay. Um, In your personal case. Okay, cool. So you're taking some extra classes, okay? What about like Mary? ¿Qué es lo que Mary va a hacer esta semana? What is Mary doing this week? Paying some payroll. Okay, yeah, checking the payrolls. Okay, ¿qué más? What else? I'm sending emails. And emails. Okay. What about Rose? What is Rose doing? Checking report. Checking report. Checking report. Checking report. Checking She's report. doing something else. To colleagues. So, talking, talking to, to colleagues. colleagues. Okay, talking to colleagues. Very to good. Colleagues. Now, yeah. please repeat after me. Emails. 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 Okay, email. Emails. Okay, email. Okay, email. Emails. Second Emails. one, report. 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 Not report, but report. 
Report. Report. Okay, colleagues. Report. Colleague. 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 Okay. And Colleague. analyze. Analyze. Analyzing. Analyzing. Okay, so this person is asking, hey, who is analyzing the advances in the company? Okay, so can va a hacer el análisis de las mejoras, okay? Or updates or everything in the company. So the first question for you guys is stuck arriba and it says what events are taking place at your company, okay, or at your office or at your workplace these days. So what events are taking place or what activities are you doing this week? Que sería lo mismo, okay? I will give you two minutes. Pensemos un poquito, recordemos cuáles son las actividades que van a hacer esta semana, okay? Uh, at your office, at your workplace, las pueden escribir, you can write them down, y luego solo compartimos una lista, okay? What events are taking place at your workplace these days? Esta es la preguntita that we are, que vamos a, um, a ponerle un poquito de cabeza, that we are going to think a little bit, y luego compartimos ideas, okay? So you have one minute only, let's go. Okay. Okay, everybody, so how are you doing there? ¿Cómo les está yendo? Did you finish? Do you need more time? Or are we okay? Can we share? Podemos compartir. So what events are taking place at your workplace these days? So ¿qué es lo que está pasando? What is it going on? Okay. So, or what activities are you doing this week? Que es exactamente lo mismo. So, ¿qué es lo que van a hacer esta semana? So, any idea, any thoughts, anything you would like to share? Volunteers, Danny's, what activities are you doing this week? Um... 
I want activity. The principle is analyze last year result. Okay. So this week yeah. you are analyzing last year results. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are analyzing. Okay. Very good. Yes. That's okay. Thank you. Norberto, what activities are you doing this week? <clears throat> Um, my activity mm -hmm. uh, are uh, working, mm -hmm. uh, clean, cleaner the office. Okay. Uh, I am saying a snake. Okay. Uh, I am order paper. Okay, you're ordering some paper. So cleaning, putting in order, okay. All right, that's okay. Thank you very much, Norberto. Jerixa, what about you, girl? So what activities are you doing this week? In my work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, we can talk about work because that is the question related to. Eh, pero también si tiene algo como personal that you gotta do, también lo puede mencionar, it's okay. Mm. No se me ocurre nada, te quiero en serio. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right. Take your time. Regreso con usted in some minutes. Take your time. Renee, what activities are you doing this week? Anything special? Mm. Oh, Renee is on mute. You are in mute. So, lo veo bien emocionado, you know, <laughs> participating, no, no. but the, but it's mute. <laughs> I I am preparing my report okay. and I assisting a, a customer. Okay, so you're at helping some customers and preparing the reports. Okay, all right, that yes. sounds very nice. Uh, Claribel, what about you? Are you doing anything special this week? Hello, hello, Miss. Hello, mm -hmm. Miss. How? Uh, tell me. How do you say imprimir? Printing. I am printing. printing. Mm -hmm. I am printing report. You are printing report. Uh, okay. I checking my emails every morning, mm -hmm. and I sending emails. Mm -hmm. So you're checking your email, you're sending emails, and you are printing documents, okay? Very nice yes. job. Thank you very much. So let's come back, okay? Let's come back to this part. Y revisemos el vocabulario antes de seguir with the next activity. So we have signing some payroll. Uh, please, can you help me with the meaning? ¿Qué significa signing? What is signing? Signing. Firmar. firmar, thank you very much. So we got this word, okay, que es firmar, signing. So the original word is sign, all right? Se parece bastante a cantar, a singing, pero se pronuncia sign, all right? So this is sign. We have this other word that is analyze, oops, yeah, analyze. We have the word improve, okay? And we have había otra palabrita right there that is advances, okay? So, tenemos four words. Signing, analyzing, improving, and advances. So, les voy a dar un par de minutitos. I will, I will give you like four or five minutes. Y con estas palabras nuevas, quiero que me ayuden escribiendo un ejemplo. Escriban una oración con esa palabra, okay? Pero algo que tenga sentido para ustedes. For example, in my case, con sign, yo puedo decir, yo nunca firmo documentos sin leerlos. Okay? So I never sign documents okay, without reading them first. All right? So yo primero los leo. So I read them first and then I sign documents. So Sign, analyze, improve, and advances, all right? So, hagamos el esfuerzo de escribir un ejemplo, solo only one sentence. Y si tienen dudas de cómo utilizarla, let me know para que lo podamos hacer juntos, right? 
So I'll give you five minutes. Ingrid ya está por acá. I'm sorry, acabo de ver su mensaje. Maybe not. Let me know si necesitan revisar algo, like any example you may have, o no están seguros, we can do it together. Okay, everybody. So, do you need more time? Necesitan like more time there? Están listos? Podemos revisar? Can we take a look at them? Okay, I believe that's a yes. <laughs> so, guys, boy, yes. Hey. Mira, I'm gonna <clears> take my it. Don't teacher. Don't teacher. You're, you're done. Don't. Okay, yeah. thank you very yeah. much for the confirmation. Yeah. Gracias, chicos. All right. So help me, please. 
sign in. Comencemos con firmar. Sign. So, what do you have with the word sign? Give me your examples, please. My boss signing every check for vendors. Okay, so your boss signs every check. All right. That's a very good one. Yes, anybody else? I need to read your report before to sign. You need to you need to read the report before you sign. Okay, very good. Brenda, yes. I am signing the employee payroll. Very good. Is that real? So you are signing the employee's payroll? Okay, gotcha. Yes, yeah. uh, Natalie, please. I'm signing some document to allow a student to graduate. You are, can you repeat that please? You are signing? I'm signing some document to allow students to graduate. Oh. Okay, so you're yeah. signing documents for the students to graduate, for low students. Hello. Other students. Oh, to allow. Oh, okay, to allow, allow students to some. graduate. Hello. All right, all right. No, you're good, you're good. I, I misunderstood that part. Okay, thank you, that's all right. Uh, any Anybody else tiene algo con sign, de firmar, signing? Yes, yes, so you can activate your microphone. Ella firma los, los, los diplomados o algo así. Mm, uh -huh. yeah. She says some documents document? to allow, so probably, what is that, Natalie? Trabajo social or something mm. like that? Cuando hacen su defensa de tesis, se generan unas actas. Entonces, okay. si yo soy jurado, eh, firmo las actas como que estoy de acuerdo que su trabajo de graduación está bien y pueden graduarse. Super, las expectativas. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. O oh, asigna nota. Well, uh, it depends, I believe, ah, en sí. qué universidad esté o, o de qué se trate. Uh -huh. Okay, that, that sounds very nice. Uh -huh. So you are like the, the jury, let's say. Es parte de, del, del jurado que califica, like, the project and everything. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, signing. Alguien más tiene any example with signing? Boys, girls, talk to me. I do not sign in the checks. I'm at work. You are not signing. No, I, I, I do not. I do oh, not sign. Okay. okay. So you're not signing. All right. No, I'm not signing the payroll. Oh. <laughs> I would like to, <laughs> but I don't. Okay. What about the next word that is analyzing? So what do you have with analyze? Um, Anybody? Analyzing before answering a question. I am analyzing before I answer a question. Okay, okay. that's all right. That's okay. Yeah. So very well thought. Danny, Anthony, what do you have? Um, sending emails, requesting information. Sending emails. Can you repeat that, please? Sending emails, re mm -hmm. requesting information. Requesting information. Y eso sería con cuál palabra? With which word? Sending mail. Allow me one second. Let me uh, check. Down, down sending some uh, paper. Teníamos que tener. Ah, no teníamos que utilizar uno del. Del diálogo. Oh, okay. Actually, son de las que están en el chat. Las cuatro palabras en el chat. But, but you are using the vocabulary, so it's okay. So you are using requesting, okay. Yeah, so eran más como sign, analyze, improve. But that's a, a good word, no worries. Okay. Okay, guys, help me please with improve. I really like that word. It is bien utilizada. You will listen to the word a lot. So any example with improve? Creo que no he escuchado algunos. I haven't heard some of you. 
Eh, so, Elizabeth, Hi. Jackie, tell me, Daisy. Me, teacher. Yes, uh, Danny, tell me. Yes, I need to improve mm -hmm. the structure of, of, of KPIs. Okay. So you need to improve the yeah. structure of KPI. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? Volunteers? Brian, Sandra. Me. Yes, Jerixa. Go ahead. I have to sing in some payrolls mm -hmm. before the holidays. Okay. You need to finish the payroll before the holiday. Thank you. Yes, Sandra. Go. We have to improve channels for the weekend. You have to improve. Can you repeat, please? Sales for the weekend. Okay, you have to improve the sales for the weekend. That's a very nice mm -hmm. one. Okay. Bien relacionado su trabajo. So you have to improve sales for the weekend. Thank you very much, Brian. Anything you have to improve? Hey, Brian. I think he's not ready yet. Okay, anybody else? Daisy, are you ready? Hey, Ingrid, ya está un poco mejor su internet. Is your internet better? Yes. Más o menos. Poquito, teacher, es que se me va, no sé por qué, pero más que todo cuando quiero encender bastante tiempo la cámara es cuando se me desconecta. O sea, que si está gusta, bajando y subiendo. Ay, no, gacha. Si gusta, apague la cámara un, pro, un momento y probemos con la cámara apagada. So let's give it a try. Tal vez nos funciona that way. Okay. Uh -huh. Puede ser la conectividad okay. nada más. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Ok, no sí. worries. La cámara siempre consume un poco más de, de banda ancha. So that could be the one. Okay, Jackie is also having some problems with internet. All right, thank you. Gracias por reportarlo, guys. That's very important. So ya tenemos como una idea de what's going on. Okay, now, like, taking a look at this part, vamos a revisar lo siguiente. And here we have WH words. So previously, hemos estado revisando un par de WH words, okay, in the previous classes. So tenemos la primer palabra there, que es what, okay. So, ayúdenme, please. Let's remember. What is the meaning of what? ¿Cuándo yo lo uso? When can I use what? Okay, yeah, cuando yo what? pregunto qué, cuál. Very good. Where. La siguiente palabra mm. is where. What is the meaning of where? Donde. 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 Cuando hablamos de lugares, ok. So, les voy a compartir la forma como para mí es más fácil. Eh, Es más fácil, you know, hacer la conexión. Okay. So, normally, we have these words. Y es un poco difícil a veces eh, recordar cuál es cuándo, cuál es dónde, etc. Because se parece mucho. So, we got Bye. the first word. That is what. <laughs> okay. So, what, normally, me refiero a objetos. Okay. What. El que te gusta. What. ¿Qué comes? What. So, siempre son como cosas. They are objects. They are things. Etc. Where, where, siempre que usted escucha la palabra where, me está preguntando de un lugar. Aunque no haya entendido el resto de la pregunta, pero me preguntó de un lugar, ¿ok? Where do you study? So, ¿dónde? ¿Ok? Where do you work? Where do you live? Uh, where do you go to, the, to, to, work. to eat? To work? Where do yeah, you buy your yeah. blouses? Where do you get money? So, where, me pregunta de un lugar, ¿ok? When, we refer to time, okay? When, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, on Monday, on Tuesday. So when is a time? Why? Why is a reason, okay? So why is a reason? So that's why mi respuesta siempre va a ser because. Why? Because. Siempre, siempre. How, okay? How is asking for manner, okay? In other words, Manner significa la forma, ok? The way, como algo se hace, ok? The way something is done, the manner something is done. So, for example, when you ask, hey, how, how are you? Es un como, ok? Como te sientes? The way you feel, all right? So, how, como, eh, como trabajas hasta tarde? How do you work so late? 
Okay, la manera. Oh, because I listen to music, I drink a lot of coffee. Okay, so how, la forma. Who, again, this is a person. Okay, so me refiero a una persona. Y hay uno que no es muy utilizado, pero sí es importante conocerlo. That is which. Para which, voy a utilizar acá la palabra que es choice. ¿Alguien ha escuchado la palabra choice? Do you have any idea what choice is? Elegir me. Elegir, exactly. Choice es una elección, ¿ok? So whenever you listen to which, es porque me están dando algo a elegir, ¿all right? So, for example, yo sé que a Dani, yo siempre lo veo con camisetas, you know, de, de, de music bands, all right? Y yo le quiero dar uh -huh. una elección. And I come and I, and I ask, hey, Dani, which is your favorite band? Nirvana or Metallica? Which do you prefer? Nirvana or Metallica? Metallica. Okay, pero le di una elección. Yeah. I gave him a choice. Yeah. Entonces, which es como más específico because I give you just the, the opportunity to decide. So if I okay. ask you, hey, which do you prefer, mountain or beach? So no hay más, me tiene que dar una de las dos. Yes, right? uh -huh. Entonces, which es más que una, una choice, es una elección. Sure. I give you the, the choices y usted solamente toma una de ellas, ¿ok? But in general, así las utilizamos. So what sí, object? Sure. Yes, Ingrid, tell me. Eh, pero también which, eh, no sé si me equivoco, se puede usar también como para unir objetos o unir, um, o sea, como unión de algunas cosas. O sea, por ejemplo, como digo yo, digamos, quiero coffee with, with milk. O sea, café con leche, o sea, se puede usar oh. con, con. Ok, gotcha, gotcha. Creería, creería que se refiere coffee a esta palabra que es with. Yeah, con ti. So, ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, eh, no, so, sí. Se parecen a little bit, pero son palabras bastante yeah. diferentes. Este es ah, with y esta es with. with. Ok, so ah, I like oh. coffee with milk. Ok, or coffee with and milk. Ajá, uh -huh. so I am with my brother, I'm with my sister, so with. Y la otra es which. Uh -huh. so, ¿Se parece un poquito? O sea, que está tan... ¿Qué es el que va a ser which? Eh, la de arriba uh -huh. significa y lo de abajo y which. Mm. ¿Qué significa which? Con. Entonces, en español es nuestro con. Exactly. Like, cuando se pregunta, hey, who do you live with? I live with. Yo vivo con. Es nuestro con. Uh -huh. So I live with my brother. I live with my sister. Eh, no había asociado mal entonces. Eh, okay. Okay, okay. Creo que escucha claro. Moisés por ahí. Okay. But that's a very good ah, question. No, no. Dígame. No, solo era como un ejemplo, así como drink coffee with milk. ¿verdad? Yes, exactly, exactly. I drink coffee with milk. Uh -huh. uh, I have dinner with uh, Delmi, for example. Okay. Or I like bread with chicken and I don't know, and a lot of things. Entonces el with viene siendo solo un acompañante, ¿ok? Pero esta sí es una palabra que vamos a utilizarla en preguntas cuando usted haga one question. Allow me one second. But I like it. Guys, siempre que tengan dudas, it's better if you ask. Porque ya no se quedan como, no era lo mismo, you know? Isn't it, isn't it different? Así que, very nice. Thank you so much for asking. Very good question. And now, vamos a utilizarlas. So, I have some examples so you can make it a little bit easier this way. So, es esta parte acá. My first question is, what are you doing tomorrow? Okay, que ya la hemos escuchado. I think we are familiar with them. But, tenemos un par de preguntas más. Where are you? Y si se fijan, acá está solo el espacio. So the space is right here because I want you guys to help me with them. Okay? So, ¿qué puedo poner acá? Cualquier verbo. Siempre y cuando se refieran al where. Algo que tenga relación con a dónde. ¿A dónde vas a ir a comer? Where are you eating tomorrow? ¿A dónde vas a ir? Where are you going tomorrow? ¿A dónde vas? Um, oh, 
I don't know. Any other idea? ¿A dónde vas a qué? ¿A dónde vas a ir de compras? Where are you going shopping? ¿A dónde vas a pagar? Where are you paying hey. your credit card? ¿A dónde vas a estudiar? Where are you studying? Okay. ¿A dónde vas a viajar? Where are you traveling? Okay. Entonces, acá está el espacio para que usted solo venga y le ponga el verbo. Okay. The activity. The next one is very similar. When. Dijimos que when era el tiempo. When. Time. Yeah. Time. Exactly. So, when are you? When are you eating? When are you studying? Hey, Moises, you are very busy. When are you resting? Okay. Entonces, anything that we got, siempre es con, con el ING. And this is important. Si se fijan, todos vienen, are you? Are you doing? Are you going? Are you visiting? Cuando vienes a mi casa, when are you coming? Cuando vas a visitar El Salvador, when are you visiting El Salvador? Okay. Y luego tenemos who. Who is, again, solo le falta el verbo. ¿Quién está leyendo el libro? Who is reading a book? So, ¿quién está viendo la serie Doctor House? Who is watching Doctor House? ¿Quién está, um, no sé, desvelándose mucho? Who is staying up late too much? Okay. Why are you studying English? Why are you working a lot? Why are you... Uh, eating oh, less, etc. etc. So, yeah. cualquier idea, la idea es que siempre tengamos en cuenta esas palabras y qué significan, ¿ok? So, les voy a dar un par de minutitos para que ustedes creen sus preguntas. Si ya las tienen listas, you know, please, yeah. escríbanme un don en el, en el chat para saber quién me hace falta. Eh, Hello, sí. me. Hola, Miriam, tell me, tell me. Eh, I have a question. Todas tienen que ir al final con la palabra tomorrow? Uh, no necessarily, eso es solo un ejemplo, pero, ah, okay, okay, okay. pero podemos agregarle más. Por ejemplo, next week. Ahorita estamos hablando de futuro, entonces podemos decir next week, next Monday, next year, okay, next month, etc. etc. Uh -huh. So podemos cambiarlo. We can change that. Thank you so much. Me. You are so welcome. Si ya tienen las preguntas, pero quieren confirmar, escríbanmelas en el chat y con gusto se las reviso, guys. So I can do that for you.
One more minute. Teacher, yes. Mm, uh, is good. When are you finishing finishing financial report? Yes, that's okay. When are you finishing the financial report? Mm -hmm. That's a very good uh, one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, everybody, do you need more time? I see your sent your questions, so let me take a look at them. Jerixa says, when are, what are you doing yesterday? Okay, uh, Jerixa, solo cambiamosle quizás la palabra yesterday, eh, porque estamos hablando de futuro, para algo que signifique, you know, el momento to come. So what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing on Friday, on Saturday, next week, next year? Solo cambiamosle esa palabrita, lo demás está bien. What are you cooking tomorrow? Uh -huh. When, where are you eating tomorrow? When are you driving your car? Why are you studying English? Very good. Yes, that is, so they are very nice. Eh, studying, me le falta la idea, lo demás, perfecto, super good. Eh, where are you staying next week? Yes, Ana, that's very good. Sandra, where are you working now? Yes, that's a very good question. Como, y ahora donde trabajas, ok, very nice, that's ok. Okay, I see. When are you going to graduation? Eh, Delmi solamente me confirma. Es como, ¿cuándo vas a ir a la graduación o cuándo te vas a graduar? ¿Cuándo te vas a graduar? Eso quería. Mm, quizás. Mm, ok, ok, got it. Es, la idea está súper bien. En vez de going, podríamos eliminar going y directamente, when are you graduating? ¿Cuándo te gradúas? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Sin el going, no necesitaríamos going. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, you are welcome. Oh, me quedé arriba. Where are you working now? When are you coming to my house? Where are you studying now? Where are you graduating? Who are you talking to? Exactly, ¿con quién hablas? Where are you going Teacher. every day? Yes, Danny, tell me. Why are you running fast? Why are you running fast? 
Yes. Oh, porque viene un ladrón. Because there is a thief. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. So why are you running fast? Okay. Why are you drinking soda or tea? Okay. Where are you going every day? Okay. Uh, no, that's okay. That's all right. Why are you crying? Okay. I'm not crying. <laughs> okay. When are you going to the next vacation? Where are you doing? Where are you doing? Eh, Brenda, solamente con la pregunta de where are you doing on vacation? Quizás creo que hay una palabra como que mm, está en un lugar que no debería. Mm -hmm. Where are you doing? Probablemente where are you going? ¿A dónde vas a ir? O okay. qué vas a hacer? What are you doing? Solo es de cambiar una de las dos. Mm -hmm. Lo demás está bien. Okay. Where are you listening to music? When are you learning to drive a car? Who is dancing in the party? What are you working? Why are you silent? Uh, just you want it, that makes sense. Eh, aunque la idea es utilizar eh, como lo que ya tenemos acá que está inicial. Why are you? Y luego ING. So, why are you? Por ejemplo, ¿por qué no me hablas? Why are you not talking to me? Why are you going to Japan? Exactly. Why are you traveling to another country? O por qué estás pensando en irte del país? Why are you thinking about leaving the country? I mean, hay una gran cantidad de cosas que podamos preguntar y la idea es siempre dar detalles. Please, den todos los detalles que puedan. Give as many details as we can. Vamos a empezar a practicar because I want you to speak, speak as much as possible. Why are you visiting the doctor very often? Yes, that's a very cool question. So, let me stop you there. Vamos a ir a pequeñas salas, everybody. Vamos a ir a practicar. Please ask questions. Y como respuesta, no se limiten. You know, don't limit yourself. Intenten siempre dar como mucha respuesta. Try to give a lot, a lot of uh, different answers, different uh, possibilities para que podamos practicar. So, give me just a second. And there we go. Tienen 10 minutitos. You got 10 minutes. Go there. Practice as much as you can. Y luego regresamos. So everybody go to the session, please. This week, um, I I am um, attending meeting, and I am uh, teaching a new chirurgic techniques. Um, I think I am taking a day for it in a restaurant with my friends. Okay. Those are Okay. Um, how are you question, Danis? Oh, my question is, why are you drinking soda or tea? Where are you? Why? Why are you drinking soda or tea? Um, the, 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 permite me ask, where or when? Where, where or when? Where? Why? Ah, why? Why? Ah. Uh, um, 
Because soda is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, 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 and where is the where is where is teaching class English? Repeat, please. Where is teaching class English? Ah, woo, woo. I'm sorry, can you please repeat the question? Who is teaching class English? Oh, I got it, okay. Uh -huh. um, este, ¿Quién imparte la clase de English? Oh, okay. Is Julia. <laughs> Is teacher Julia. Ma. Uh, Julia. Uh, are you question, Daisy? Are you question? Going to travel on July. La preposición no. sería on. Sí. Entonces, sí, verdad. En meses es esa verdad. Sí. Ah. Teacher está por ahí. Yes, Miss, I'm right here. Tell me. Tengo una pregunta. Have a question. ¿Cuándo era el último día para entregar la documentación para el próximo módulo? Uh, la semana pasada fue. Creo que ahí se le quedó mal porque no estoy segura. I'm not sure. Eh, normalmente a ustedes les envían, bueno, no sé, yo creo que a ustedes no, pero a Recursos Humanos le envían eh, como el correo y ahí dice la fecha. Sé que se los enviaron la semana pasada, pero no estoy segura para qué fecha era. Yo creo que la semana pasada era el último y yo no sí. le envié. No, I can't believe you. Pero si va a seguir, right? You, you will continue. Pues no sé si todavía lo están recibiendo. Si gusta mañana, le voy a comentar al compañero. Le voy a escribir para que esté pendiente y le pueda eh, llamar. Usted es su propio recurso humano, right? Sí. Oh, okay. Vale, le voy a escribir al compañero porque sí, ellos tendrían que indicarles. No le he escrito. Sí, porque de, de mi trabajo solo soy yo. Ah, ok. Vaya, déjenme escribirle no, entonces no. para que ellos se comuniquen con usted. Yo pregunté y me dijo que todavía tenía tiempo. Ah, dice Ingrid que preguntó. Ok, preguntó ah, ahora sí. Ingrid, ¿today? Porque está así. Ah, ok. Ingrid preguntó y, oh, entonces sí, 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 sí. Pero sería como de enviarlos... Y no, no quedarse sin el cupo, ¿verdad? De aprovecharlo. Ah, ok. No lo habían mandado tampoco a la empresa. Ok. Vaya, eh, gracias. No, gracias Ingrid por el, de, por el dato, porque si no... Gracias Ingrid. Ahí si no lo manejo. <ríe> Elizabeth, hey Elizabeth, how you doing? Escucharon a Brian. Hola, hola. Hola, Miss. Yes. So, yo yo veo... le pregunté a Teresa. Ok, yo veo a Ingrid súper activa en el chat, así que si todavía tiene dificultades con el internet, igual nos puede responder a través del chat. Elizabeth, intentemos también, eh, you know, answer the questions. Chicos, si tienen preguntas, le, se las pueden hacer a Elizabeth para que también vayamos educando nuestro oído, right? And we practice a little bit. Se siente muda. <laughs> yo sé, <laughs> se siente raro. It feels super weird. I know. Pero de alguna forma, you know, eh, nos ayuda también a, a desarrollar eh, gramática y a desarrollar vocabulario. Así que si no se puede con el micrófono, intentemos la forma de ver eh, de otro medio. Nos funciona. <ríe> so, guys, pueden preguntarle a Elizabeth. You can ask her. Sí, lo manda. Pero nos escuchará. Sí, van Sí, no se escucha, sí. pero yo creo que ella, ella no, el audio de ella. Ella, 
<ríe> me siento muy bien aquí. Ingrid. Bueno, si nos escuchan. Where are you buying her shoes? Where are you buying her shoes? Place and the meat places, beautiful places of El Salvador City. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, ver. What are you cooking for your birthday? Repeat. What are you cooking? For your birthday. Birthdays. Uh, um, I usually my birthday. I. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo salir? I, I, I go out. I go out in the restaurant. You don't cooking. <laughs> don't cook. Don't cook. Don't cook. <laughs> Me, and you, Giovanni? Me, I usually no celebrate. Nah, I no creo. Sí. No creo. Gran party, gran party. ¿Qué le hacen? Nah, lo que pasa es que no invitan, no nos quieren invitar. Ah, eso, no quieren hacerlo. <risa> no, no, I usually, I usually, I... Go to the night party with my friends. Okay, uh, and there's no celebration. Menos mal que dijo no celebration. But there is a big party. ¿Qué más? What else? Uh, in, in, ¿Cómo se dice en mi próximo, teacher? My next. Ah, uh, in my next birthday. Uh -huh. uh, I, I am going uh, to the club bus with my friends. You are going to the bus? No, to the club bars. Club bars. Club. You're going to the club. Llama, así se llama el lugar club bars. Club bars. Um, club bars. Y Santana. Yeah. Club, okay. Yeah. Ah, los clubes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's going to a bar in Santana. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> no, but that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, th that's a very good question, de hecho. So what are you doing on your next birthday party? ¿Qué van a hacer para su siguiente cumpleaños? So you're going to a bar. Tell me, what are you doing? Uh, in my next birthday. Mm -hmm. And your next birthday party, yes. Uh, I go, go out, se dice, teacher, salir, salir. I go out. Or I am going eat. out. Uh -huh. Como es? I am going out. I am going out. Mm -hmm. Going out, uh, eat uh, okay. the restaurant. Okay. With my family. Ah, okay. Very nice. That sounds good. <laughs> so you're going out. Rene, what about you? What are you doing on your next birthday party? In my next birthday party, I am going out with my my brother and my friend. And I am okay. visiting a uh, Tunco Beach. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds very nice. Let me think. My... On my next... Uh-huh. Tell me. On my next birthday, I I am drinking a lot of beer. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Menos so mal que dijo okay. que no celebraba. <laughs> no, he doesn't celebrate. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't celebrate at all. And my next birthday party, I um, no sé qué voy a hacer because my family doesn't celebrate. That igual que Giovanni. <laughs> no. This party um, surprise. 
Uh, last year intentaron, they tried, pero no les funcionó porque yo estaba acá trabajando de casa, you know? ah. <laughs> so, no yo me auto, yo me auto decoré. No. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, no, maybe I am celebrating with my family. I am having some pupusas and a cake, and that's it. Uh -huh. So we don't celebrate a lot. We don't go for beer or anything. <laughs> okay, but, but it's cool because I am with my family. Yo vi, yo vi que René quería decir algo, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I saw him, I saw him, yeah, so le di la expresión de, okay, I got something in my mind. <laughs> say it, say it, René, dígalo, say it. No, 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 no. Ah, okay, no, no se worries. quede con eso, René. Ajá, es que lo vi que se quedó con algo, you know, de repente le iba a decir, y he was like, ok, no. <laughs> so no, 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 no. Ok, no problem. Guys, los veo en un momento. I'll see you in a moment. Restaurant with my, así era, with, no. Sí, verdad. Yes. With my children. And you, my sis. I am going with my friends and my family. Okay. Uh, hey, Jocelyn, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm, I'm going to the, I'm going to the, the park with my family. Oh, que fue la pregunta? <laughs> no entendí. ¿Qué, ¿Qué haría mañana? ¿Qué haría? Sí, así está bien. Ah, ok, ok. Um, where are you having the... Where are you having the event next week? Where are you having the where? event next week? Or celebration? Where? Next week in celebration in the beach. Oh. Is yes. Vamos pues la la beach room. Inviting. <laughs> Vamos. A la beach, a la beach. Sí, en la beach room. ¿Qué no, hacer? not there. <laughs> When are you going? When are you going to the beach? Sí, es eh, going to the beach? la beach room que hacen en la playa con Gator. When? Semana Santa o cuándo? Eh, 27, March. 27. 27. Okay. ¿Y qué hay? What, what activities are there? It is a beach run, a running, event running. Oh, a beach run. Ah, okay. But do you, do you pay? Do you pay to participate? No, I, I am working. No, but I mean, si queremos ir, <laughs> if we want to go, <laughs> do we have to pay? Do we pay to participate? Debemos pagar? Do we pay? Yes. Tiene un costo. How much? $25. $25. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, nos vemos por ahí, you know. <laughs> Igual no corro. <laughs> But it would be very nice. <laughs> yeah, but it would be really cool. So on the 27th, esa Semana Santa, ¿verdad? That is a, the Holy Week. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Guys, in vacaciones, are you having vacation? Yes. I am not. Yes, I have um, vacation. 
Toda la semana, all week. Or week three days. Three days, days means. Okay. Yes, first, please. second. Oh, only April. three days. April. First, second. Okay. And Jocelyn, two. Two days. Yes. Okay. And Moises, you're not having vacation at all? Ningún día? No, ninguno. What? But you have your days free, right? Sí, sí. Or, or you're not having your days free. En vacaciones es como temporada alta para mí, ¿vale? Todas las vacaciones. Es lo que más trabaja, me imagino. Okay. So, I'm not having vacation either. Yo tampoco tengo vacación. So, I'm not having vacation. So, I am working. My only day off is Sunday. So, yeah, I'm working. Either way. Yes. I have a question. Tell me. In the vacation, in vacation, I'm going to in the class. Eh, to be honest with you, todavía no nos han mandado la calendarización, but normally respetan la vacación. So that means, si tenemos vacación de Semana Santa, there are no classes during the week. Uh -huh. Pero eh, hasta que en Moisés es, yes, <laughs> okay. pero hasta que nos manden la calendarización, eh, podemos dar ese dato, ¿verdad? Por el momento no, no hay nada confirmado. Eso, eso será mi único, ese será mi único descanso, creo. Ah, ok. <risa> sí, me imagino. Son días bien pesados igual. La mayoría no se conecta a cosas. Deben de trabajar en, en temporada alta. Ok, everybody. So, vamos a regresar. Let's go back to the main session. That was nice talking to you. That was really cool. Let's go back. Uh, thanks everybody for coming back. Vamos a esperar un par de minutos while el resto regresa as well. Jesus, I'm happy you are at home. So nice to see you there. Thank you. I'm glad you're there. It makes me nervous to see you in the motorcycle. <laughs> so I almost get a heart attack, you know, but I'm, I'm happy you're, you're sound and safe. So, uh, okay, everybody. So I'm glad everybody's here. Everybody's back. Yo creo que algunos están teniendo issues with the internet, pero igual los logro ver acá. Así que muchísimas gracias por conectarse, you know. So we were working a little bit with these questions, okay? Like the WH words. And I think they are very interesting. So can you please help me? Hay alguna pregunta that was interesting for you or something like that? Um, for example, I heard, are you, I don't remember. Oh my God, estamos discutiendo like some questions there with some groups sobre la vacación. You know, we were talking a little bit about vacation. Si van a trabajar, si van a descansar, si van a ganar doble, que iban a hacer, and things like those. And I think that is very interesting. So, uh, guys, is there any question que fue como interesante? Oh, we also talked about uh, birthday parties. So, when are you celebrating your birthday? Okay. And what are you doing on your next birthday? So, vamos a escuchar, like, some of your replies, some of your answers. Uh, so Giovanni, no sé si está listo, and you want to share that with us. <laughs> so what are you doing on your next birthday? Hello, good evening. Hi. Uh, 
I am uh, in my next birthday. Mm -hmm. I am going uh, to the clubs with my friends, and I am drinking a lot of beer. Uh, also, I am going to the beach. Uh, only teacher. All right, thank you so much. So thanks for sharing that. So he said that he is doing some activities with his friends. Guys, what about you? What are you doing on your next birthday? So what type of activities are you doing? Um, Natalie, let me go with you. What are some activities you are doing on your next birthday? First, um, whatever I, I am working on my uh, next birthday. Um, after um, I am uh, I am taking uh, uh, <laughs> the tarde libre, the afternoon off. Uh, yes, I I I taking the afternoon off, uh, and I take and I I am going to the restaurant to eat with my friends. Okay. Okay, cool. So you are celebrating with friends pretty much. Mm. Nice. That sounds very good. Okay. Guys, any other question? Escucharon otra pregunta that was interesting for you? Maybe not. Okay. So, si se les ocurre algo, please let me know so we can also discuss it. I think that was very interesting. So, let's move on with the next activity we got right here. And uh, vamos a la parte cuatro. Let's take a look at activity number four. And it says, fill in the blanks with the events you have at your workplace. So, pensemos como en todas las actividades que hacemos, right? No lo normal de send emails, receive emails, chat or check, sino cosas ya más específicas que les pide su trabajo, okay? Like very specific things you got to do. Number one, for example, is signing payrolls, que ya descubrimos algunos sí lo hacen. Some of you yeah. do it. That is a big responsibility. Number two is sending emails. Number three is analyzing the advances. Como nos decía um, Danny, so he analyzes the KPIs, I believe. So what about you guys? ¿Qué es algo específico that you got to do, okay? at your workplace. Algo que probablemente no lo han considerado, but now it's like, oh, yo tengo más responsabilidades, okay? So everybody has a lot of responsibilities. So what else? Tienen acá seis para llenar seis espacios. So only six more, all right? I'll give you three minutes. Algunos ya las tienen, así que this is going to be easy and fast. Tres minutitos, chicos. You got three minutes. Teacher, colleague, white word papers, uh, está bien. It's very, very good for uh, decir, codificar, codificar los documentos de trabajo. Um, oh. Okay, uh, yes, le voy a escribir la palabra. I'm going to write it down porque les puede... Sería codificar uh -huh. o sí, guardar. Sí, sí. Codificar. Ok, so este, podremos utilizar. Lo, eso. lo que hago, lo que. Ajá. Con Code, paperwork. Paper. Paperwork. Ah. La documentación. Uh -huh. So, code the paperwork. Uh, codificar. Paperwork. Uh -huh. Ok. Podría ser también como. Es que no sé si es realmente un codificado lo que hace o solamente como darle seguimiento a documentación o guardarla o something like that. Tengo, tengo el catálogo de cuentas y tengo una factura y, y esa factura es de gasolina. Le pongo un código para ser registrado en, en la cuenta donde tiene que ir. 
okay. ya en, en el mm, sistema. Sí, podría ser code paperwork, pero también hay otra palabra que podría utilizar que a mí me suena como es lo que hace, que es esto, keep track, como darle un seguimiento o tener, how can I say that in Spanish, my goodness, um, como, oh my God, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, uh, track of the inflows and outflow. Oh, you know, so. Es que en su caso sería más, más específico. So you can use this one. Se la comparto en el chat. I'm going to share that in the chat. Because that's the inflow. Inflow and outflow. So you can also use that one. Well, okay, one more minute. Anna, thank you very much for the confirmation. Sure, I have a question. Yes, of course, tell me. How do you say in... Cuando se hace conteo de todo, ¿cómo se llama eso? El arqueo. Inventario. Inventor, ajá. Yeah. lo comparto en el chat. We can use inventory. Sería mm thank -hmm. Yeah, take care of the inventory yeah. or you can also say manage the inventory. So, inventory. No sé realmente cuál es la actividad de que se desempeña, pero podría ser manage, que es como estar a cargo de manejar, manipular. Uh
Ok, is everybody finished? Todos ya terminaron. Is everybody done? I saw uh, Anna Delmi's confirmation. Norberto, thank you very much. I see your confirmation as well. Uh, what about the rest? Jacasi, are you about to finish? No yet? Jacasi. Danis, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Guys, eh, si todavía están trabajando en ello, podemos utilizar esta palabra que es bien útil, que es no yet. Like, cuando escuchan terminaron, ya estuvo algo, you know, eh, ya hiciste something que se supone que usted, um, you know, eh, están esperando que lo haga, pueden utilizar no yet. Ya pagaste los recibos, no, no yet. Ok. <laughs> ya lavaste la ropa, no yet. Exactly. So no yet es como aún no, todavía no. Okay. So no yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. So eso es lo que utilizamos para decir no he terminado esta actividad. So no yet. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, have you finished? Yeah. Some of you have done it. <laughs> Pero si no, you can say, not yet. Mm -hmm. And you're good. We got 42. Okay, so uh, listen up. What we are going to do is the following. Vamos a preparar una mini, super mini short presentation de esta pregunta que es, what activities are you doing this week? Okay, nos van a contar qué son las actividades principales que van a hacer. What activities are you doing this week. All right. So, tienen tres minutitos. Pueden repetirlas. You know, you can repeat it to yourself hasta que les salgan súper bien. Y luego son presentaciones cortitas de 30 segundos. Okay. So, you simply say like, okay, let me talk about, permítame un segundo. Estructuremoslo here. So, the question is, So the question is the following. What activities are you doing this week? So this week, I am, but first, second, and Also, ok. So, remember que tenemos unas palabras que nos ayudan a conectar mejor lo que estoy diciendo. Como, por ejemplo, I can use first, second. Yo puedo utilizar then. Yo puedo utilizar after that. Ok. Eh, after that, then. O también puedo utilizar solamente la palabra and para conectar y la palabra also. Que al decirlas, me se oye muchísimo más ordenado, you know, y con mejor sentido, whatever we are saying. Eh, y evitar solamente decir oraciones así, sin ninguna relación entre sí. So, what activities are you doing this week? All right. So, for example, this week, I am sending my reports on Friday. Eh, also, I am checking the exercises on the platform. I am completing a training on Friday. Also, I am having a meeting tomorrow with my supervisor. Okay, and that's it. So what activities are you doing this week? Es una presentación de 30 segundos. Tienen ahorita exactamente dos minutitos para practicarlo. All right. Leanlo en voz alta, repítanlo hasta que se sientan super ready. Y luego vamos a pasar tantos como podamos. As many as we can. All right. Tres minutitos hasta las 48. Oh, I don't understand. Good luck, Brenda. What happened? Wow. 
What was that? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, es que de repente vi en el chat that it says good luck, Brenda. So I was like, ¿qué pasó? What happened? Tell me the gossip. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, Danny did it. Danny se está like, despidiendo de mí. <laughs> Buena suerte, Brenda. <laughs> Ah, but I'm like, okay. Por eso que iba, iba a teacher. Uh -huh, so I was like, ¿qué pasó? Tell me. Tell me no, the gossip. Oh, con, con, con Susana. Oh. Oh. Con mi madre so, Chan. Oh, so you're having dinner. Okay, so enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Anis. Okay. Is everybody ready? Guys, are you ready? Do you need one more minute? Okay, I'll give you one more minute only. So we can go ahead and start. You need. Yes, Miss. Uh, okay, no le pude escribir porque estaba un poco ocupada. Es respecto a las tareas, es que la semana pasada yo no, no me fijé o no supe o no sé qué pasó. No, no puse atención, no hice, no entregué las tareas a tiempo. Yo vi, me metí a revisar y estaba viendo el módulo 1 en donde tenía todo hecho. Entonces yo asumí que ya lo había hecho. Y lo dejé así. Y me fijé desde este lunes que no era, no lo había hecho. Entonces no sé qué, qué va a pasar con eso. 
Eh, ayúdenme revisándolas ahora, please, o dándoles update. Um, me parecen algunos ejercicios at the beginning, pero lo que pasa es que semanalmente enviamos un reporte. Entonces, ahora que me lo comenta, voy a revisar mañana tempranito para poder darle eh, el update a las notas que tenemos y no le voy a afectar. Entonces, si gusta, al finalizar la clase me ayuda revisando las que tiene. Esa semana terminamos la semana número 3. Si usted puede avanzar y terminarlo todo, igual sería súper genial. That would be better. Sí, lo voy a terminar porque si, se me fue la vez, la, la vez pasada, pues no me fijé, me metí a otra cosa y pensé que había hecho eso. Ah, <ríe> es okay. que son, tengo que hacer muchas cosas. Ay, al mismo tiempo, entonces. Ya, yeah, imagen, no se preocupe. Son varios ejercicios, pero no están como muy complicados, entonces no le va a consumir más de... I would say what? Si ya lo terminaron, no les consume más de 20 minutos. I would say 20, 30 minutos para completar todas las actividades. So, eh, yeah, let's try to complete them. Igual, chicos, si alguien puede terminar hasta la unidad 4, sería perfecto. That would be better. Y ya se quedan más tranquilos as well. So, me ayuda con eso, Miss, y así mañana tempranito le doy un update. Y no, no, no le afecte la nota. Está bien, gracias. Oh, he's no worries. Okay, everybody, let's get started. So this is a mini, super mini presentation, okay? Um, and this is what activities are you doing this week? Tienen 30 segundos only to present, y lo vamos a hacer para que nos rinda el tiempo, you know, with a time, with a stopwatch here. So let me get started, okay. So some 30 seconds, it's gonna be 30 seconds only. You can talk about all the activities that you gotta do. Si tienen menos, invéntense otras, okay? La idea es cumplir con los 30 segundos. Uh, Natalie, would you like to go first? Oh, no sé si se le había quedado la mano arriba. <laughs> no, no, quería decirle que sí. Sería voluntario, sí. O oh, no sé cómo va a ser la... la... Dinámica. Uh, well, comienzo con voluntarios y sigo con víctimas. But if you want to get started, sería perfecto. That would be nice. So, si está lista, solo son 30 segundos. What activities are you doing this week? Mm -hmm. bastante tiempo. <laughs> no, 30 segundos no se siente. It's only 30 seconds. ¿Lista? ¿Ready? So, ok. Ok. One, two, three, go. Okay, my activities. For, for this week, um, art or um, first uh, in my work, first uh, assisting to my boss in his activity with the student. Second, I'm reading a graduate work of the student. Also, I am um, performance, 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 the new classes of the of physiology. After that, I'm talking to my students about both the weights work. Nice, very good job. One more time. And time is, no, time is over. <laughs> okay, that was super cool. Thank you so much. Guys, and you what is for her? That was very good. It's only 30 seconds. It's only 30 seconds. Le voy a cambiar la canción. Give me one second. Okay, uh, so... That was, that was her 30 seconds, super, you know, bien utilizado the time. Now I need next volunteer. ¿Quién es el siguiente, guys? Who is next? Teacher. Danny, would you like to go? I am here. Uh -huh. uh, my activities uh, for this week. Okay, Deme this un week first. Give me just a second. Le voy a tomar el tiempo. I'm going to take the time. And we go now. Please, go ahead. My activities uh, for this week, this week. First, and the, morning, the Monday in the morning, I am going to work very early for finish my report. Second, every day, I am watching healthy eat. After that, also every day, I am running much in the morning, very early, the earliest possible. I am, mm -hmm. am, I am studying much English. Also, I am sleeping much. Only that teacher. 
Tiny Solver, thank you so much. Very good. That was very nice. So thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Uh, Danny, that was good. So hay una palabrita que es I am eating healthy food. En vez de eat, sería la palabra food. Lo demás super bien. Very nice job. Okay. okay. Who goes after Danny, guys? Who goes after Danny? Volunteers? Okay. Big Tim. So my next person Hi, is Hi, be... <laughs> Hi, okay. volunteer. Okay, very good. <laughs> Son 30 segundos. It's 30 seconds. Uh, guys, it's como un challenge. It's como un reto a yeah. sí mismo, you know? Así que retense ustedes. So challenge yourself. 30 segundos, 30 seconds. One, two, and three, go. Uh, hi, these activities for a week. Review production calls. On second, mm. monitor scrap. Also, analyze, analyze bugger status mm -hmm. or status. Um, checking daily sour. Only. One second. <laughs> no, time is over. <laughs> Thank you very much. Danny, that was good. Tenía que decir only para que se terminara. That's it. Uh -huh. No, very nice job. You did it. Exactamente 30 seconds. Okay. Next person. Who is next? Who is ready? Claribel, que si no la he escuchado ahora. I haven't heard you today. Are you ready, Claribel? Do you feel ready for that? Oh, Ingrid, es cierto. No tiene audio. Ok, ya, ya vamos a, a leer esa parte de inglés. Thank you so much, Do. Eh, Claribel, Sandra, you know, boys. Oh, tampoco tiene audio, really? <laughs> That's so no. sad. Daisy? Ok, yeah, thank you so much. I know, I know. Daisy, are you with us? Jesus, hey, Jesus, very good. I like it. Very, very nice. So, son 30 segundos, solo 30 segundos. Tell us about the activities you are doing this week. Listo, ready? Ready. Okay. One, two, three, go. This week, uh, I am writing reports every tonight. Also, I am going to the bank every morning. Also, I am studying every... I am studying English every tonight. I am supervising the work of the employees. Also watching my series in Netflix every tonight after to of class. Three seconds. <laughs> and that is, that's it. <laughs> also, I drive. No, that's it. I that's drive. It. <laughs> <laughs> very nice job. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was super good. That was very good. I like it. I like your intonation. I like your tone of voice and, and very well organized. Thanks a lot. Guys, tenemos eh, como un minutito para el último. So who wants to be the last? Volunteers. Gracias, René. Le veo el rostro de I want to go for it. I want to be the last person today. So, yes, please, go for it. 30 seconds. One, the first two. I go, go, go. Mm -hmm. The first I prepare in my stationery papelería. I don't know. Uh, paperwork. And then I, paperwork. I prepare my paperwork. Then I review, I reviewing my, my car. Then I check the check the my computer checking i am checking my computer and then i is uh, i study english uh, uh, in the afternoon and, be and before then i cooking always uh, i cook in my dinner nice and time is over very good renee that was super nice <laughs> and right on time thank you so much for participating there okay everybody so uh, ingrid in the chat is also telling us something but i couldn't see that so she says first monday meeting in the workplace at eight o'clock 
second on Tuesday, me imagino que tiene reunión. She is having a meeting in the school of my daughter. After that meeting, I'm working and my boss is making us arches in the week. Um, Ingrid, no sé si se refiere a arqueos de la semana o u otro término that we can take a look at. Okay, es el arqueo. So we are checking my boss. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so we can we can take a look at that word because it's it's un poco más más específico. So that would be we are making the the shift. Mm -hmm. No sería la palabra arches, cause eso significa otra cosa, pero ya la vamos a revisar, okay? Eh, de hecho, tenemos ahorita la sesión one on one. Si no me equivoco con usted para que la podamos revisar right now. Deme solo un segundito. Sí, le toca a usted. Entonces, si gusta, revisamos ahorita. Me regalo unos 10 minutitos, right? Uh, guys, los demás, gracias por estar acá. Thank you so much for connecting. Eh, Natalie, me ayuda, please, revisando solo la plataforma, like checking the exercises. Y ese mañana tempranito le doy el update. Los demás, please, eh, también de igual manera, ayúdenme con las tareas, please, para que no se le vayan acumulando. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night, and I'll see you too. Good night. Good night. Bye, good night. bye. bye. See you. Bye. Good Hola, Miss. Hola, Ingrid. Hello. Miss, y no hay forma que se conecte con el audio en otro recurso, como en otro teléfono, una tablet o algo que tenga por ahí. Para que podamos tener la sesión one on one. Oh, that's so bad. Sí, Miss, es que de esta forma es como un poquito difícil, right? <laughs> Porque creo que usted se va a sentir, como usted dijo antes, un poco muda. Um, okay. Let me see. What can we do? What can we do? Okay. Um, oh my God, déjeme ver. Sí, sí, yo tampoco sabía. And uh, se va a hacer un poco difícil. Lo que pasa es que es un poco más difícil hacer el cambio. Pero yo me imagino que usted me escucha porque sí me responde. Um, mañana le toca a... A Moisés, tal vez podemos hacer el cambio con Miriam o con Moisés. Ok. Bueno, intentemos ver de qué manera compensamos y luego podemos eh, tal vez considerar hacer como agregarle un poco más. Ok. Eh, bueno, Ingrid, solamente eh, comienzo entonces. Eh, me gustaría iniciar con, con un par de, de comentarios. Eh, primero es que, que me alegra muchísimo que esté con nosotros en este módulo. Eh, siento que usted le da viva, vida al grupo, you know? es, es bien participativa, eh, tiene ese feeling you know, de aprender el cual es bien positivo y, y le transmite a los demás. Eh, no le da pena preguntar, entonces los demás también se animan a preguntar. Así que thank you so much eh, por siempre hacer preguntas. 
eh, por estar bien participativa, súper puntual. Yo sé que se conecta a veces tardecito, pero no es porque no quiera, sino porque tiene otras obligaciones y comprendo que el trabajo es primero. Al contrario, yo sé que está en el bus a veces y que está haciendo todo su esfuerzo para aprender. Así que, thanks so much for that. Eh, se nota que tiene todas las ganas de aprender, que está, te, tiene las ganas de salir adelante. Así que créame que eso es, es admirable. Um, con las tareas igual, siempre bien responsable, no he tenido ninguna uh, mayor dificultad, ¿verdad? Like, eh, pidiéndole que me ayude con tareas, así que muchísimas gracias. Um, en, mientras, you know, intentamos encontrar la forma de, de trabajar con lo que tenemos ahorita, ¿Hay algún tema? Si me lo puede escribir, ¿hay algún tema que sienta difícil o que sienta que le, se le está costando mucho? Ok. ¿Siente el módulo un poco más, más fácil de comprender que el módulo 1? Ya habría sí. Ok. Ah, ok. So, uh, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. So, eso es muy bueno porque significa que ya está educando un poquito su oído, right? Eh, Ah, un poco más fácil, qué genial. <risa> es, cada módulo es un poquito difícil o tiene su dificultad, but I'm happy, you know. Eh, so, me preguntaba al final eh, sobre arqueo de caja, cómo decir arqueo de caja. So, let me share this with you. Eh, so, podemos utilizar esta palabra que es un daily cash balance audit ok, so podríamos utilizar esta palabra que es como eso de cuando su jefe le dice mire revisamos cuánto dinero tiene ok, let's take a look cuánto hace falta, eso sería como un audit All right. eh, o también podría ser esa otra que es como complete complete the cash count que esto es como lo que se hace todos los días, ¿verdad? No algo tan general, pero sí es como el, el que normalmente se le conoce el arqueo diario. So, complete the cash counts. En vez de la palabra arch, o, oh, oh, ya, yeah, creo que era arch, que es como el arco, pero en un ambiente un poco diferente, en un contexto diferente. Uh -huh. No sé si le, le funcionan esas palabras. I don't know if they are good for you. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Nice. So, yeah, quizás solamente sería eso. Eh, si gusta, practique sus actividades, practice lo que tiene que hacer. Esperemos que el internet mañana esté un poquito mejor y que ya nos pueda participar eh, y practicar también pronunciación. Sí, o sea, a veces el internet nos juega una mala pasada. Mi internet ha estado todo el día súper lento, pero <coughs> afortunadamente ya mejoró en la tarde. Uh -huh. No worries. Sí, lo que podemos hacer es practique lo que tiene, you know, practice, repeat, y, lo, y mañana en un momentito que tengamos me recuerda para que me lo pueda decir también, ¿verdad? Y los compañeros escuchen también pronunciación y, y puedan participar a su vez. Uh -huh. Podemos hacer eso. Ok. No hay problema, Miss. Mil gracias por conectarse a pesar de las dificultades que, que tiene con el internet. And, uh, nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Okay, okay. So have a good night. All right. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye, miss.